Welcome back to KSNT News on your Wednesday morning. Well, this weekend in Abilene, you'll be able to enjoy a full afternoon of activities to honor our veterans as well as a concert. As the sun is setting, joining me this morning is Tim, Deputy Director of Symphony at Sunset. So first, just tell me a little bit about the outdoor concert. Well, this is our annual tribute and commemoration of the Americans who fought at Normandy on D-Day as well as every American who served in military service. And so we always feature a very nice concert with the Salina Symphony. And so it's this weekend. This weekend, it's always the first Saturday in June. It's close to D-Day, June 6th, as we can get it. Okay. And begins around four o'clock. Okay, and so tell me a little bit about, I know there's several activities for people, but tell me a little bit of the highlight ones. Um, the highlights, uh, actually at one o'clock, we have a pop-up museum opening and folks can bring World War II memorabilia to help us tell that story of D-Day. Day. We also have the Sons of American Revolution coming out to present a special medallion to the burial place of General Eisenhower and to recognize his service to the country. And then at four o'clock we have food vendors coming with a wide variety of everything from barbecue sandwiches to alligator on a stick. Uh, we have Everyday Lights, a group from Salina which will be performing at 530 and then the 1st Infantry Division Band at 7 and then the Salina Symphony at 830. Alligator on a stick. I don't know. Alligator if that's on a me. stick. Yeah, <laughs> a little rare in Kansas. <laughs> yeah, but well, people have to try it. I have to get out there and try it. So, also tell me about admission. It's donation based, correct? It is by donation, and it's simply to help us offset the cost of, of this annual concert. I'd also like to add that the Commanding General's Mounted Color Guard uh, from Fort Riley will be over to show a you know, demonstration of old cavalry tactics, as well as a Civil War encampment. There'll be activities for children. In fact, they'll be able to write thank you notes to our veterans. And the VA, Veterans Administration, brings out a mobile service booth so they can work with veterans to help receive their benefits and, and also other programs. That was going to be my next question for you. Was that VA uh, medical or the mobile van? Kind mm -hmm. of tell me a little bit about that. Well, they travel around the country uh, just to provide better service to our veterans, whether it's for PTSD counseling or information on how to get all their veterans' benefits. So it's a really good way for them to get their message out. And since we'll have so many veterans gathered together in Abilene, it's, it's a great opportunity as well to, to meet those veterans. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And it sounds like a lot of fun. So this weekend, and we're going to post all of this on our website as well, so you can go out and enjoy all the fun. So thanks for coming on this morning, waking up early. We're glad to have you. Thank you, you. very much. All right. And so now